Go into a store where you have poor customer service and where you look around and the shelves are not well stocked and the presentation is is unappealing and you just don't you just don't want to stay there. You walk out the door. Go into another store where you feel like a valued customer and where things are in wonderful order and people really are attentive to you and you know this is a company that treats its people well and it makes all the difference because that's where you want to shop. Zingerman's in, in Ann Arbor, Michigan that you may have heard of but it's a, a company that started out with a delicatessen and now has 10 different lines of business but they have created a strategy that you can call it open book management that's much bigger than just open book management but essentially empowers employees to be decision makers and to act as if they were all owners and it creates very tight processes around all of this and training and investment and strategy so that you walk into any part of the Zingerman's enterprise, the delicatessen, the restaurant, the coffee place, and you just feel like you are the most valued person in the world. You ask a question about any product and any employee can answer questions. You watch as they do their strategy and planning meetings and how employees from every level of the business are engaged. There's one wonderful story about a dishwasher at the restaurant who noticed that um, the dishes that he was washing, the plates were coming in piled high with french fries that weren't being eaten and he knows what it's costing because he's part of the company, he's open book, he's a dishwasher but he knows all the financials that they're losing a lot of money by having so much waste but the restaurant had this all you can eat bar and you can just go up and take all the french fries that you want and so people would pile their plates high with french fries and not eat them so he came up with an alternative that was sensitive to the customers this, this incentive of providing all you can eat but actually created um, less of an incentive to take more than you can eat by portioning out the french fries uh, you know in the kitchen and then saying you can have seconds or thirds but you'd have to ask for them and that that did it but he saw the problem he envisioned the solution he acted on that idea and they of course embraced it and it solved the problem anybody anywhere in the company can do that and feels like they have a, a role to play in in the success of the business